Good morning, guys, and happy Veganuary. First things first, we are going to be heading out. I'm going to be filming some content in some shops. I'm meeting up with Christina and we're going to have a wander and do that. I think I'm going to grab a little light bite on the way. I'm not like super hungry for breakfast. It's already about, it's just past 10. I ate quite a lot last night. So yeah, I'll just grab something on the way. But yeah, I'm going to try and do lots of fun recipes for you guys this week. We've got a few PR meals as well. So I'll be showing you what sort of things we've got going on during Veganuary. This is like my busiest time of year. <laughs> It's a big time for the vegans and obviously for a vegan influencer. It's generally quite a profitable month for me and it's also really fun. Lots of events, lots of meals, lots of food. Let's go. It is literally roasting hot. My God, it's hard to hold. I won't be able to eat this for a while. £5.25 as well, bit of a ripoff that everything is these days. Just got an email in my inbox and apparently Veganuary signups are at an all time high. One sign up every 2.4 seconds. I actually always wonder how many of you guys are actually vegan? How many of you are just trying to eat more vegan? And how many of you are doing Veganuary for the first time this year? Happy New Year, Christina. Oh, thank you. One of the good things about the move is now where I live. I actually live near a big supermarket, which means I spend a little less on my shopping because a lot of the mini shops in London just charge a crazy surcharge. So I've got more options and cheaper options. Yay! I just made it home, gonna unpack my shopping and then make myself some lunch. I'm still a bit ill, I've got a bit of a head cold. I'm not feeling 100% so I'm gonna have a lot of like spinach with my lunch. I just bought tons of that and I bought lots of like blackberries and blueberries as well to try and make them feel a bit better. Yeah, so just trying to eat to heal myself mostly this week. Literally just spent about 10 minutes looking for this bloody tin opener. I don't like this tin opener. I've moved too much, too many appliances that you've got to get a knack of. Hey, one. I won. <laughs> <laughs> you look Obviously. like such a villain. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure I took him second. Well played. Well 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 okay, bad. <laughs> he just grabbed it. I God, I've woken up with like the worst head cold up here. I just did a grillers order. That's where they get like groceries to your house. I got headache medicine and also um, a little moju shop. Moju shop. Ginger shop for active immunity. Um, I was just really trying to get my order balance up, but oh, cheers. Ah, ah, <laughs> fucking hell. Ah, I'm also taking medicine and I just wanna remind you guys that as far as medicine goes, technically not vegan because there's always gonna be animal testing involved and even beyond that, there's often non-vegan ingredients in it. But obviously your health comes first. Also being vegan is about being vegan as far as like practically possible because there isn't medicine that's not tested on animals. We don't really have any other options. So got to go with it, I'm afraid. Ah, hope I feel better. I've got, <laughs> got to get on work, it's Veganuary. Actually have quite a lot of ads, which obviously I'm happy about, but I don't feel capable of working. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna make porridge with blackberries. I actually bought these with jumbo oats when I bought them. Doesn't this picture look like jumbo oats? But no, it's like sawdust oats. Chia seeds are an incredible source of omega-3. So that's generally what people get from fish. So if you can work these into your diet, either by putting them in your porridge or doing chia puddings, that is, um, I think, quite essential for a vegan. Obviously you can get it from supplements as well, but this is one really good hack.
<laughs> Literally just having leftover pizza for lunch. I'm feeling worse today, so I'm just like literally eating from my bed. I am gonna have to get up and shoot some content shortly, which I'm not thrilled about. Pizza's from Pizza Pilgrims. Got broccoli, pesto, olives, mushrooms, mm. artichoke, very good. Mm. I don't really have much to say about today. It's been dark, it's been grim. I've done a bit of work, video edits, filmed an ad. I am. Um, have a leave-in conditioner in my hair, so I did a bit of hair styling. It actually looks really good. Yeah, leave-in conditioner just on this part, like part styling gel. I used the, oh, what's it called? Umberto Giannini leave-in moisturizer slash styling cream. I'm so sick of being ill. I'm not impressed, I don't really get ill. So it's weird new territory for me. Um, I'm not sure what I'm having for dinner. I'm hoping I have soup, but I think I might have eaten that whilst I was ill. Okay, we're gonna go for tofu, spinach, and noodles. Don't really know what to expect from this tofu in a tin, but we'll try it out, guys. This is literally my first time buying these waffles, so we'll see what they are like. Oh, I'm really hungry. So today I'm actually off to the Lush Bar, which I'm so excited about. It's a birthday present, so Christina, she's coming with me as well. She got me a spa treatment for my birthday. So my birthday was on the 18th of December. I'm so excited. I've been to Lush Bar twice. Both times I've actually been gifted. I've meant to book myself in. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's such an immersive experience. It's unlike any other spa. So it is quite expensive, but actually I think for what you get, it's actually very well priced. Hmm. This is nice. I am feeling a lot better today. Still a little bit sniffly, but not as congested, headachey or anything. I feel like yesterday, I didn't really do much. I didn't see much. I mostly rested. I am off to Pasteo for lunch. We're gonna meet up Christina. This is a gifted lunch, trying out some new Veganuary food. Got two slushies, both alcoholic. It's actually my first time drinking alcohol the new year. Sure. Say cheese. Cheese. Look up slightly. Yes, cute. <laughs> Best birthday present ever. So everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning guys. I actually haven't had breakfast yet and it's nearly 11 a.m. I've got a call at 11 as well, so it's definitely not happening now. I've also got like quite a few events today. I'm going to a breakfast club event at 2 p.m. Um, they've changed their, I believe their Soho branch to be vegetarian this week, January. So I'm off to that, yeah, at 2 p.m. And then not too long after that, I've got another event later with The Real Greek. So I might see skip breakfast today just because I think I'll be eating a lot and if I were to have had breakfast it should have been a lot earlier. I'm not gonna say that I've not eaten at all because obviously we've just had Christmas, I have chocolates lying around and I haven't eaten like the whole box. Um, a lot of these were half eaten from Christmas but I've eaten like maybe three more chocolates this morning. Um, I've got a coffee. Yeah, having fun. So we're back in Soho today. I feel like I'm always telling you guys that all the vegan spots are in East London, where it turns out a lot of them are also in Soho as well. But the spot we're going to today, Breakfast Club, it is, I believe, only vegetarian for Veganuary. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll let you know what the menu's like. That meal was so bad. I can't believe that they've turned that branch vegan slash vegetarian and they've not even bought vegan butter yet. Like that bacon bat was so dry. I always found the breakfast club to be overpriced. I always appreciated that they had vegan options because literally for a while, it's like the only place anyone ever wanted to go. Like when your friends aren't vegan, you just go and they had vegan options. So I appreciated that. However, uh, it just felt so lazy. Like some of these places they'll do a vegan brunch with like say tofu scramble and the tofu scramble will be disgusting. If you can't even figure out tofu scramble, I just don't trust you. They just, oh, it's so lazy, no don't recommend still overpriced no hey friends bit dark out but we are heading off to the royal greek now it's about a 30 minute walk i'm already running 15 minutes late i couldn't decide what to wear but i've got a cute little top on i've like put my hair back but my fringe keeps dropping down which i've been trying to grow out for forever oh but yeah really excited greek is actually one of my favorite cuisines so i think it's gonna be good the only problem is veganuary is synonymous with try out fake meat so i'm hoping they have some of their like even like vegan meat free <laughs> dishes available for us tonight but um yeah i think the little london vegan's gonna be there if you guys don't follow her she's incredible especially if you're a londoner and also serene lee so eee, it should be a good time i don't really end up around tarot bridge that often but oh my god it's pretty ah oh, sometimes london i'm just like i love you that one's the shard we love the shard <laughs> oh, oh, also, I got flowers from the real group, but it's not just that, the food was also amazing, like I cannot explain how much better that was from, than the breakfast club. I've always loved the real Greek. I love Greek food. I love like Greek style food. I love hummus. I like vine leaves, tomatoes, I believe. Like, I think they know how to do vegan food really well. And the real Greek has a lot of those dishes. And I was worried tonight would be a lot of fake meat. And they were working with eat planted. I told you earlier about my fringe. Can you see how annoying that is? How much better it looks when I push it back versus when it's like, hanging down on my face. I may have had a bit of alcohol there, but they didn't know which wines were vegan. So we're impressed by that. Hmm. Anyway, food was amazing. Honestly, always love it there. Everyone was really impressed. We had a few vegan influencers there, all really enjoyed the food. Right now for Veganuary, they have something like four dishes for 11, maybe 95. I don't think it's more expensive than that. So um, it's actually a really good offer and really good food. And you saw earlier after the breakfast club that I don't lie to you guys about whether or not the food's good or not. The real Greek I definitely recommend, especially if you like hummus, vine leaves, chickpeas. They had a fava bean dip. 
I could have eaten that with a spoon. That's it, Ziki. That's it, Ziki. My God. <laughs> it was so good. Giving me faith back in the beginning, right? We are very happy with that. Very, very good. <laughs> there she is. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. all having a lovely day it's friday now so we're almost at the end of the first week of january and i'm gonna try so hard to get this video out for you guys like pronto i think i'm at home all day i need to double check my calendar so it actually is achievable Yeah, I really need to edit the footage from the breakfast club from yesterday. I've already done like little edits for my stories, but oh my God, that bacon back. I got so many replies on Instagram, like clearly we're all upset by it. So normally if I get like a lot of replies on my stories, I'm like, okay, like people care, people are interested, people are outraged. So we can do a fun TikTok on it. It should do quite well. Every now and then I quite enjoy getting a bad meal just because it gives me the chance to show off that I will actually talk about how bad it is, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not gonna gas up a restaurant so I'll get another invite back there. I really don't care if the breakfast club never invite me back because their food was bad and they should do better. And I will try and be like constructive with my video, but for the most part, I am just trying to stop people wasting their money on bad food. My number one job as an influencer is to influence people and look out for my followers um i don't want anyone that follows me thinking that they should go to the breakfast club for their food basically so i'm happy putting out a bad review there they're also not like a tiny business they've got branches because you can feel bad if you give a bad review to a small business generally i would avoid doing that um and i'd just keep it offline and give them feedback but this one they can handle it and they need to be held accountable for what they served <laughs> i'm not gonna lie Okay, so my New Year's resolution is actually to be tidier and to tidy for like 10 minutes every day. I've generally done really well, but I think I skipped it yesterday, which was like, what, the fifth day of the year? But it's okay, back on the wagon today. I'm going to put a timer on for 20 minutes. If I do 15 and my room's tidy, I'm happy with that. But yeah, I'm just going to do that now because I've got to do it. And also my room is a mess. It's not just my resolution. Um, I also like, I need to tidy up for um, shooting brand deals. So here we are, this is what we're working with. Mm. We are only the first weekend, but I am actually already loving this resolution. I feel like having a tidy space really does help bring up your mood, make you feel productive, make you just feel good about yourself and about where you live. I spend a lot of money to rent a room and I need to treat it well and treat it with respect and it makes my job easier as well when I do. So yeah, really enjoying this 10 minute a day habit. Not fully sorted, but yeah, I did over 20 minutes and it is so much better. I actually just got a delivery through from Vinted. I got a new jumper, Miss Selfridge originally. I kind of like the like pattern on it. So yeah, I'm gonna try this on. Give me a sec. Here we go. I'm not 100% sold on the fit. It's like, it's like crop, but not super crop, but I'm still happy with it. I feel like I'm gonna get my wares out of it. I don't really have many gray jumpers. I kind of go in and out of liking gray. No, I think this is cute. Just basic. So if I just wanted to <laughs> just look basic, 
it's it's good for that. I don't know, does grey suit me? I always get a bit worried about this. I'm like, does it go with my skin tone? I think I'm overlooking into it. I think it's cute. I'll let you know. Uh, I'll put the details how much it costs here. I really like those waffles I had. Oh my god. I really like the waffles I had the other day, so I think I'm gonna have them again this morning. This morning, this afternoon. Lunch. I really am feeling so much better. I'm so happy I'm like on the mend. Yeah, I'm just a bit snotty still, like. <sighs> but yeah, other than that, I feel pretty all right. I'm happy about that. I'm ready to kind of like start off the new year feeling good. I've got to shoot some stuff today. I've actually got a reasonably bright day compared to what we've had the rest of the week. So it'll be a good time to shoot some content for the weekend. I've got a few ad campaigns that I really need to get on top of. So that's what I'm up to this afternoon. I think during Veganuary in particular, my cooking at home gets very simple and basic just because I'm eating so many like wild meals at restaurants this month. Yeah, it just feels quite nice to eat something that's not too complicated. Like the yogurt tastes so fresh to me right now. Mm. It's such a shame with Veganuary. I feel like there are some brands who do kind of like just take it as a crash grab and they just, you know, they do the vegan menu to just get people in, but they're not really putting any effort into their vegan offerings. And I just feel like they're trying to scam us. Whereas other places like the Royal Greek last night, I felt like they were actually using Veganuary's time to push forward their vegan offering, get a lot of attention on some launches they've barely been working hard on. Veganuary, it just, I feel like it's losing its sparkle, but maybe it's because I've been like influencing across Veganuary for maybe like three, four years now. It's not really that super exciting for me. And I actually think I'm trying to get my content a bit more, I wouldn't say away from veganism, obviously I'm still vegan, like that's not gonna change, but, and I'm still loving sharing my food, but I just, I just get a bit bored talking about veganism all the time. But I think that's just because I talk about veganism all year round and then suddenly it's Veganuary and it's like everywhere and I'm like, oh my God, it's just so much. <laughs> I don't even know what point I'm trying to make here. Oh no, I do, okay. Be careful out there on Veganuary because so many people are trying to scam you. Try not to get lured into all the fake meats. There are so many foods you can make, which are just like fruit, veg, I don't know. But yeah, when I say I want to do like less vegan content, obviously veganism is a big part of what I do online. That's not gonna change, but I do want to do more like vloggy stuff, definitely more single stuff, like just making people feel like good about their lives and happy and just, more content like that. Like I was really proud of doing my Paris content last year, which was just really fun. And it was like encouraging people to go solo and do stuff by themselves, but also to take the Eurostar and check out the vegan restaurants. You know, it was low key, subtly encouraging that sort of stuff. And I want to do more of that this year. And also really lean into like the single girl stuff and just encouraging people to live their best lives. Like even if you're not single, I think it's really healthy to have like, I don't want to say single days in a relationship, I'm not encouraging anyone to cheat, but make sure you keep having time to yourself, keep treating yourself, keep like going out for dinner by yourself. Like there's no reason you can't do that when you're in a relationship. I think it's still important to make time for that sort of solo time and self love and all that sort of stuff. So I really would love to do a bit more of that this year and just showing off the joys of that. So that's what I mean when I'm trying to like transition my content. More good living as a sussy girl basically. I'm filming a sweets TikTok ad, um, part of my work for today. So I've eaten a few of these to be honest. I'm gonna be on a bit of a sugar rush. I haven't eaten like tons, tons. If you love your like sweet sweets, swizzles have a lot of vegan things. You just need to look for the like vegan logo in the corner and you're good. So love hearts, lollipops, minions, so many things. So, so many things. I'm not the biggest fan of them, so I'm gonna take most of these downstairs. Like, they're nice as an odd treat, but like, this is probably more than I could eat in a year. So I'm enjoying this now, and I love, love hearts. Definitely my face, but um, also love lollipops, but they're so bad for your teeth. Mm. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to make butter beans again, but I'm gonna put them on uh, like pesto butter beans, but I'm gonna put them on mashed potato. So that sounds quite fun. I'm quite looking forward to this.
The pesto is actually a bit dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of yogurt to it just to um, make it a bit wetter, I guess. Oh my God, so much better. Here we go. Mm, mm. Right guys, that was anti-climax. <laughs> right guys, this is an anti-climax. Climb. <laughs> oh my god, this is an anticlimactic end. Did I even say that? Anticlimactic end to. It doesn't sound like a word anymore. This is an anticlimactic. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. End of January, I'm in my bed, not doing much, but I just feel exhausted. That zonked me out. You know, I'm still getting better, so um, my energy is maybe a little bit dipped still from the illness. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a good veganuary and I'll catch up with you guys again soon. Hit follow for more videos like this. I know you had fun if you're still here. And yeah, have a lovely day. Bye.